Hello, my name is Amol Sarvate. I am Director of Vulnerability Labs at Qualys. And I'm going to discuss a little bit about SCADA security with you. SCADA systems, as you know, are used in a wide array of industries like critical infrastructure, um, factory floors, transportation, and a whole array of in really industries. These systems are vulnerable to a lot of attacks, and as an industry, we have done a pretty good job in analyzing malware like Dooku and Stuxnet after the malware hits. Th that's this all analysis and reverse engineering of malware is excellent. But what I think is better is to proactively look at SCADA systems and abstract them and try to find out where attackers and hackers could potentially compromise these systems. Uh, I think as any SCADA system, whether it may be factory floor or a critical infrastructure system, can be classified into four distinct components. These are basically sensors which collect information. They can be temperature sensors, pressure sensors, any sort of device that collects data. Conversion components which convert this data into analog or mostly digital. Communication, which involves radio or other type of communication and involves a lot of proprietary SCADA protocols. And finally, the presentation layer, which presents data to an operator, which is usually looking at controls 24 by 7, looking for um, temperature differences or any sort of unusual things happening in that particular SCADA system. What I think as an industry we should go towards is abstracting a SCADA system into various different components, studying where attackers can attack these components and how we can protect against them. For more information about these various different components, how attackers can attack them and how industries can build robust protection layers, please visit the community link at www.qualis.com slash community. Thank you.